Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So this is my daily um, gameplay, daily, you know, just going through my quests daily, and also talking a little bit about my progression and also my plans and goals for this game. I think it's pretty, it's pretty uh, helpful. I would, I would say, like I don't, I don't want to sound sound like I'm so full of myself, but I think it's pretty helpful to show my progression because I am at, like, you know, I'm, I'm not the best in the game, but I'm, I'm one of the best, I think, like, currently right now. Um, but I, it, it doesn't really have anything to do with, like, how good I am, it just has to do with how serious I am um, in playing this game and also going a little bit pay to win. Like, I, I'm not hardcore pay to win, I spend about, I spent not even a hundred dollars yet um, on this game. Actually, wait, that actually does sound like quite a lot. But for for mobile games, it's not not actually that much. I do just use my YouTube mo money, the the money I make on my YouTube to to kind of fund myself in these games. Um, but yeah, and I I think it's really good because it it kind of helps. Um, it, it helps itself because if I if I can use the money to fund myself in these games, I can make more content for you guys. And it just it's better for everyone because like it, if you guys like watching my stuff, then I can make more videos, and then I can just fund myself even more, and um, you know keep playing and keep keep making stuff for you guys. So that's that's pretty helpful. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about guilds. I don't actually I think I actually want to make an official announcement talking about like you know um, like a message to the people in my guild because I think a lot of you guys are actually. Like, a lot of pe the people in my guild are actually people on my channel. Um, it's going to be a video talking about how to how to help your guild level up, and how to, um, you know, how to get the most out of your guild, basically, like, in, in joining a guild. And at the at the very end, I'll, I'll like, uh, leave a message for, for everyone in my guild. But um, that's just a little bit of a heads up that, that my guild is, like, somewhat, like, it's, it's recruiting active players, like, people that are actually... Um, playing and being serious every single day. My guild is finally level 3 now, so I'm, I'm going to be doing some guild battle videos today, like my first look at guild battles. I've never um, tried guild battles. I did start my guild a little bit late, like a week late um, than everyone else, so probably everyone has already participated in guild battles for a week, but the, the week just reset, so we're going to be we're gonna be somewhat competitive um, in this week in our in our guild battles. So yeah, there's there's that as well. And and let's let's begin. Let's uh, let's start everything, and we will we will um, yeah, we'll see what happens after that. Um, I want to talk a little bit about just progression in general, like because I think I I often forget that like a lot of you guys probably haven't um, progressed this far or haven't seen your monsters like the the transmute and stuff this far. If you guys have any questions, don't like. Don't be um, don't be don't, don't be afraid to ask. Like if you guys have any questions about, um, just like hey, I, I raised this monster to evil three now. Like what should I do to, um, to uh, you know like which monster should I raise or, or something like that. Like because because before a lot of a lot of the information I got in this game like there was there's no guide, no wikis, no nothing. Like I'm one of the first people going into into things in this game. So um, a lot of the content in this game I had to discover firsthand. There was no there was no guides or anything like that. A lot of the maps that I had to play through um, I had to I had to play through them like you know the, the first time without without the, the help of any any sort of guides or anything like that. I'm not saying this to, to sound like oh, oh shit I'm I'm like bragging like I'm fucking OP. Shit. Um, but I'm, I'm saying this to 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 tell you guys that like I've um, you know I, I do have some experience with like you know clearing through stuff. So if you guys are ever stuck on a stage, um, I can I can kind of strategize to to help you get around that. Because a lot of the stages that I cleared in in level seven, like they're the monsters that I'm fighting are way way stronger than my monsters. But I I've tried to raise certain monsters and cheese through certain stages to to help me clear them and progress. Um, so if you if you have any questions in 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 that regard, definitely, um, yeah, definitely ask. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to help. Um, and also, I went pay to win. Like I was, I talked about how I wanted to buy Adele, uh, and I actually did. I was like, all right, fuck it, um, I'm gonna just do it. And <laughs> um, I, I bought Adele. And the moment I bought Adele, I, I just like yesterday I ended up on rank like 58 or something during during the end of arena. So. 
she's definitely OP. Like she's she's so fucking broken. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully they they don't they don't break her too much. Like, cause it's it's just not fair to to have her um, for for like people that pay and then anyone that doesn't pay can't have her. Like, I, I just hope there's a counter or some some sort of replacement that you can use for her in the future. Um, she's not that strong in PvE, but she's she's like really really OP in PvP. Like, there's no tank that can outclass her, and like she outclasses every single tank in PvP basically. Um, but yeah, I, I she's still really really good in PV, PvE. But you can there's a lot of replacements you can use for her in PvE, so it's not it's not like you definitely need her to progress. Um, but yeah, that's that's just one of the things. Um, I don't know. It kind of makes me sound like make it sound like this game's pay to win. I think it's the it's the furthest thing from that because a lot of the things, a lot of the systems implemented in the game, actually stop pay to win people from like progressing like crazy. Who the heck hit me? I can't even revenge these people. Can I revenge this guy? Oh, his ranking's too low. I wanted to get some revenge, revenges in. Yeah, like this is really, really OP. Like they, they bought the packs that give, give you got, um, give them potions. Actually, I'll talk a little bit about, about it after this match. If I do remember. Should I bully him? He has no Adele. He does have some pretty strong, pretty strong, um, magical tankiness. I'm thinking of switching to Zilline. I don't think Owen is that good. Like on paper, Owen looks really good, but in practice, she's she's not that that strong. God, just look at how tanky Adele is compared to every other tank. Like she just she just freaking melted, and still my Adele's not dead. She's like the strongest tank in PvP. Like there's there's probably a tank that can that might be better than her, but I don't think anyone has him yet. Um I was actually looking at the at the vampire. The vampire I think is is going to be really really strong for anyone that can get him in the future. He's farmable, but he's going to be very hard to get. He's from Tower of Insolence 4, 430. And he has um he just basically has like a lot of nukes, but he has a lot of self regen. So he he puts up a shield that like um, well it's not really self region but he puts up a shield that's basically 30% of its health well not 30% uh, when he's below 30% health he's gonna put up a shield that's 210% of his magic damage um, and also he has like this this skill that has I, I would say it probably has insane self sustain because it's a it's a three target skill it hits for 350 15 percent of his magic damage. And it recovers 100% of the damage dealt. So if there's like three people, he'll be hitting them, and then he'll be absorbing all that HP back. And he also has the um, the ability to steal steal like skill gauge from the enemy. So basically, he's going to be absorbing their skill gauge, and also um, you know put uh, potentially doing more nukes by absorbing their skill gauge and then regening himself. I think he's definitely going to be really strong once once some people can get him. But that's that's going to be uh. That's gonna be for another day. Um, a little bit something I wanted to talk about just now in the arena was um, the, I, I I was talking about the red quality of the monsters. The red quality means that they're like epic quality, and every like when you get them to purple, it goes like plus one, plus two, plus three, and then after plus three, it's the it's the um, you need to transmute to the next quality. So epic quality is the red quality. Um, there's a bo huge bottleneck here. You can't get these potions every single day. Like you can't infinitely farm them. You can only, um, I mean, you have to get them every single day. You can only farm these normal stages three times every single day. So there's a limit to how many of these potions you can get per day. So that means that there's a huge bottleneck here, meaning I can probably only raise um, one of these monsters to the to the epic quality maybe every two or three days. So there's that kind of stops my team from from pro progressing for a little bit but once you make it past that bottleneck um, you can basically raise raise them to like plus two very very easily so I'm just kind of waiting on potions and probably gonna raise my death knight to 
to to um, to epic next and try to get them to plus two by the end of today if I can get them to to epic. If not, then I'm gonna have to wait another day. Um, also, I'm planning on switching out my main healer. I'm I'm gonna switch to RN. And I don't have her 3 stars yet, but once I have her 3 stars, she's definitely going to be a lot stronger. Um, just higher magical, physical damage, higher tankiness and everything. I've been wondering how to get this skin. Like, I, I hope that um, it's going to be available to everyone in, a, in the future for like a event or something like that. Hopefully, hopefully. I'm not sure. Um, but what are we doing? Uh, let, me, let me think. Oh yeah, I, I was supposed to do a raid boss and also the... The trials, but if there's if there's no boss, we'll probably skip it for this video. I mean, the the raid fight's pretty much the same. I I haven't really switched out my team. Still kind of the same thing. All right, I got to get um Serenus. I'm not sure who has a destiny for her, but I probably will want to use my strongest monsters. Oh, I can use a lot of my strongest monsters. Should I, should I do double tank? No, I'll do double healer. Wait, no, no double healer probably isn't isn't that good. Double tank? No, double tank sucks. Um, double healer. I might want to look at their destinies just for a second. Okay, he doesn't need it. She doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. Need it. She don't. She doesn't need it either. But none of them have any sort of destiny for, for killing um, Serenus. Alright, I guess I can use whatever I want then. I can pretty much use whatever I feel like using. Alright, let's just go with the team I planned to use before. Level 43 here, this is gonna be, gonna be a little bit difficult. Let's let's do double heals. We'll try this comp first. If it doesn't work, I'll put in I'll put in the uh, the Bethlehem or something, whatever his name is. Wait, wait for her to buff, and then I'll I'll Owen buff right after. Stack up that crit buff. I'm just worried that she's gonna nuke my backline and just kill my backline first. Cause there's no way Adele dies to her, I don't think. Hey, double heal comp might be strong. I wonder if this is going to be strong for the arena. If I run a double heal comp. Shit. Right, never mind, never mind. I still I still got more heals. Nice, nice, that was beautiful. Man, and I only got two scrolls. Can I do five? What level do I need to be? I need to be level 46 to do stage 5. So I guess we can only do this this stage. Alright, I think the, the best way to use Lara is to wait for her to do her CC buff. Like, she has a CC resist buff. The moment she does it, I activate Owen. And then Owen does the damage buff, so you're like stacking 3 buffs all at the same time. Like, right now my team is super strong. They're basically going to be able to resist all CC. They, they resist the freeze, because my Lara buff, and then they have the attack and crit buff to do like even more damage during the time that they're weak, they're strong against CC. Damn, they're doing a lot of damage. She's doing a lot of damage to my backline. I love the frontline backline system of this game. It just makes everything feel so, uh, like, like RPG-ish, you know? Like, you have healers, you have t actual tanks. Nice, nice. Alright, that was, that, was, that was a really good clear. 
And I was able to, to get two pieces for her as well. Um, wait, I think I might have enough. If I have enough, I'll, I'll, I'll unlock the Ashley transformation. Alright, nice, I'll unlock the transformation. She's actually really strong in PvP. Like, I think in the future, if I have them with, like, equal gear, I might use Ashley for PvP. Because she has, like, insane amounts of CC. She has freeze, more freeze, um, slow attack speed, and freeze. And just a lot of nukes, basically. Alright, what else, what else we got? We got... I'm Riv, Daily. Um, I, I gotta do one more PvP battle, but that will come after we go into the Tower of Insolence. I was super unlucky for two days. I didn't get any, like, a single piece of the Zenith Queen drop for two days straight. Gotta be the saddest thing ever. Wait, I have some... Yeah, these, these are the ones that have Destiny for the Zenith Queen, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I actually don't care. I, I, I don't care that much, to be honest. I don't care that much about these units, although I probably should start caring because I heard that you need 10 units for guild battles. I probably want to get like 10 units relatively strong. Spawn boss? I think it spawned. Nice, nice. Alright, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just go with this team. I think my, my little spar toy guy, I think he's called spar toy or something. The little skeleton dude, he has his destiny to kill her 10 times or something like that. Oh, my RN has a destiny that needs to um, win 10 Coliseum battles, so I'll probably want to use her for my main heal healer in PvP. Drop, please, please, please. Oh my god, I'm so unlucky. What is this? Did they change the drop rates or something? I used to be getting like at least two pieces every single day. Maybe it's because I didn't activate my Owen just now. I honestly don't think Owen's nuke is as good as Lara's. Like the ultimate skill, because it's only single target. I mean, it does a lot of damage to one target, but it, it doesn't do any sort of AoE. But at the very least, I did spawn another boss, so that's very, very nice. I mean, even if she doesn't drop anything, I can still complete the destiny, right? Don't fuck up. This new card, finish her off, and hope she drops something for me. Oh damn, that knockback is so strong. I think he's the one with the knockback, right? I can't remember who has the knockback. Nice, I got one piece. Oh, 17, three more to go. So close, yet so far. After I farm like one Zenith Queen, I'm gonna start farming the Vampire. I don't think I need to raise her really high because she's she's more of a like a like a niche monster. Like I I'm probably gonna be using her to 
to cheese through some shit, basically. That's that's my main reason that I want to get her. I just want to use her silence to like cheese through some shit. So I don't need her like super super strong. She's not gonna be on my main team, but I still want the unit for her unique skill set. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? Like Lara's AoE nuke just killed three guys. Yes, yes, yes. Let's have another chance. Oh yeah, for for any newer guys, like if you're if you're stuck at the place where you like need to get to level 36 before you can advance to the next map, I recommend you raise one of these guys, the, the Spartoi guy, because you can use them to cheese through a lot of maps in map seven. Because the the bosses have like crazy AOE nukes, and um, the only way to survive is is to like use his shield right before they do their nukes, and then you can you can kind of cheese through it. That's what I did to, to clear through all of stage 7. I was actually able to clear through hard mode of stage 7 kind of doing that as well. Right, uh, what did, what do I have in my box? Right, nothing important. Why does this thing keep saying complete? Alright, um, if there's no raid boss, I'm probably not going to hunt for it. I'm just going to do it later. And then I'll I'll do one more Coliseum battle. This time I'll, I'll use Arin. Maybe I should put a weaker defense team. You guys think I, could, I should put a weaker defense team? This way I can just keep revenging people that hit me. Yeah, actually, that sounds like a really good idea. Uh, what's what's a what's a good comp to put on defense? All right, I'll put him leader. Right, let's go. Let's go with a full new comp. No heal isn't good. Yeah, I'll just I'll go with this. All right, how about we go with this? Has about two thousand four hundred defense power. That yeah, should be good enough. Yeah, I clicked on the quest. I want to win more revenges. Um, I also need to switch my attack party. Alright, uh, definitely can't beat this guy. Probably beat... I'm not exactly sure. Like, see, they're all using Arin. Arin's way stronger. Some of them are still using Olga, but most of the top players are using Arin. Arin's just so much stronger. She's she's freaking OP as hell. All right, let's uh, let's find someone I I know I can beat for sure. Night Captain guy. Oh, he does have two two reds. What the fuck, he has a 5 star? What is this bullshit? Alright, I'm just gonna hit someone easy. Probably this. Yeah, I could probably beat this. My Arin isn't as good as she needs to be right now. She's only... Um, epic plus 2 right now. Wait, are they are there running double heals? Oh shit, this is bad. I don't have enough damage to kill her. Fuck! Oh shit! Like this will be enough damage to kill her, I think. Oh no, she has her shield up. Oh my god, I got wrecked. All right, um, I'm back to step one again. I'm back to uh, back to getting wrecked in every single PvP fight I I do. God damn it! I thought I won. I thought I was good, but I was just a, I was just another scrub. Wait, did someone spawn a boss? But I don't want to hit their boss. I want to, I want to hit my boss. 
Alright, they're under attack. I right, fuck it. I'll I'll spawn a boss and hit my own boss later. Um I think that's pretty much it. That's everything I need to do for today. So I definitely want to do another guild battle, um, or start doing the take the first look at the guild battles very soon. And I'll see you guys in that video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.